This is the Mercedes AMG E63 S and it has a very important role to play in today's road test. And I mean road test in a very literal sense. Welcome to the brand new Nagpur to Mumbai Expressway, officially called the Hindu Hriday Samrat Bala Sahib Thakre Maharashtra Samruddhi Mahamarg. Now we've got exclusive time on it and let me tell you already, it's quite the road. Built to connect Maharashtra's sub-capital Nagpur and capital Mumbai, the Samruddhi Mahamarg is a 701km, 6-lane access-controlled expressway. For perspective, the Samruddhi Mahamarg is 7 times longer than the Mumbai Pune Expressway. The Samruddhi Mahamarg promises to cut travel time between Nagpur and Mumbai from the current 16 hours to just 8. At max attack and without traffic and without restrictions, the car I'm in would need two and something hours. For the uninitiated, the Mercedes AMG E63S is an E-Class dialed up to 11. It's got four doors, five seats and some say it's among the fastest ways to drop your kids to school. Its hand-built 4-litre twin-turbo V8 engine makes 612 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque and that power goes to all four wheels or two if you so choose. The Samruddhi Mahamarg is designed for speeds of up to 150 km an hour but the official speed limit will be 120 km an hour. Now if you do the maths, that's about 4 seconds of very intense acceleration in this E63S. At places, the Samruddhi Mahamarg is wide enough and flat enough to actually double up as a runway. Now theoretically, and I am emphasizing theoretically, this is a place where you can actually max out a car like the E63S. In this very car, that's over 300 km an hour. But just don't get any ideas. It's patently dangerous to try any antics on a public road, especially a high-speed one as this. Any misdemeanors will be caught on the network of CCTVs en route. It's estimated that 30 to 35,000 vehicles will use the expressway daily. Today though, I have a large chunk of it all to myself. So, excuse me if I'll be giving in to temptation every now and then. The drive acquainted me with some of the salient features of the route and reacquainted me with some of the highlights of the E63S. They cleverly placed sound barriers near habited areas and that's just as well because this E63S is very proud to be loud. The AMG really roars. In fact, the animals around might be wondering what's that angry beast in their neighborhood. Now on the subject, the Samruddhi Mahamar is unique for animal overpasses that actually allow wildlife to cross from one side to the other without needing to cross the actual road itself. The strategically positioned overpasses provide safe passage for animals, almost like a walk in the park, while vehicles zip by below at 120 km an hour. And there's a lot of amenities for road users in the works as well. Over time, the Samruddhi Mahamad will have 21 wayside amenities with food courts and petrol pumps. And importantly, each of them will have EV charging stations. So it's going to be quite a future-proof route. Now, as the visuals would have established already, the Samruddhi Mahamarg will be largely straight with gentle curves, requiring minimal input at the steering wheel. If there's a road built to test the advantage of ADAS features like adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, this is it. The most steering you'll have to do is on the vast interchanges, of which there'll be 22. Interestingly, the toll collection booths will only be on the exit and entry ramps and not on the main expressway itself. When the road is fully functional, it'll be absolutely ready with fast tag. So this will be a fully seamless experience. But I'm going to do a ceremonial stop. I want that toll receipt for posterity's sake. 
Before you ask, the toll has been set at 1.73 rupees per kilometer for a car. So, an end-to-end -end journey will cost about 1200 rupees in tolls. There you have it. Back on the expressway, there's more to make of road and car. With the cruise control set to 120 km an hour, which is the speed limit for this road, this E63S doesn't feel all too different from the bog-standard E-Class. It's really comfortable and feels like a car that'll do this journey all day. And what can I say about the road itself? It's an absolute world apart from the current highway between Nagpur and Mumbai. And if you actually zoom out, it's not just the travel time saved between these two major cities, but what this road means for all of Maharashtra. It runs through important centres like Amravati, Aurangabad, Ahmednagar and Nasik and will eventually connect 26 talukas and 392 villages. This road really has the potential to change the face of Maharashtra with as many as 18 townships planned along the route. The Greenfield Expressway will also be green with 11 lakh trees proposed to be planted along the route. If there's anything to bring up about the road, it's that the concrete surface isn't as smooth as an asphalt road would have been. Then again, this road will require less maintenance and engineers say the surface will also smoothen as the road comes into use. And the good thing is, that date is coming soon. The Nagpur to Shirdi section of the Samruddhi Mahamarg opens in May 2022 and work is on in full swing to ensure the entire 701 km road including a 7.7 km tunnel between Kasaraghat and Igatpuri is open to the public by May 2023. The Samruddhi Mahamarg is one of Maharashtra's flagship infrastructure projects and one very close to Sri Eknath Shinde, Minister for Urban Development and Public Works in the Government of Maharashtra, who took a tour of the road in the quiet confines of the all-electric Mercedes EQC. This is an electric vehicle Mercedes car. This is a world-class car. It's world-class road. This is a world-class road. This means a very smooth ride. Here's the Honourable Minister on the scale of the job and getting it done within five years. First of all, there is a project or a highway. So, there is a land acquisition. It's a very important part. And this Samruddhi Highway, the land acquisition has been in record time. First of all, there was a lot of people opposed to this start. काफी लोग विरोध कर रहे थे, रेजिस्टेंस था और फिर उनको बताया कि वो जो गवर्नमेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है, उसके ऊपर मैंने खुद एज विटनेस मैंने साइन किया, खुद उसको विश्वास दिलाने के लिए और उसका विधानसभा सेमिले में भी कई लोगों ने पूछा कि शिंदे जी आपने तो कुछ नया ही शुरू कर दिया है, तो म� शुरू किया है लेकिन उसका फायदा होगा जरूर फिर वो मेरा आइडिया जो है काम आ गया और लोगों को मैंने कहा कि आप आपकी जमीन दीजिए और आपके अकाउंट में विद इन टू आवर्स आर के माध्यम से आपके पैसे जमा हो जाएंगे हम लोग चले गए ढाई घंटे में मुझे फ़ोन आया उस फार्मर का पैसे जमा हो गए ऐसा एक भरोसा जो ट्रस्ट है वो डेवलप होते गया फिर कई ये ऐसा मैसेज बहुत सब लोगों में गया कि ये समृद्धि के पैसे जो है वो समय पे मिल रहे हैं फिर लोग खुद ही आ गए जमीन देने के लिए और फिर एक साल के अंदर हम लोग ने पूरा लैंड एक्विशन किया रिकॉर्ड टाइम में ये रिकॉर्ड है और जैसे आप कहते हैं कि किसी भी शहर और जिला हो राज्य हो उसके जो रोड अच्छे होते हैं मतलब ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कम्युनिकेशन कनेक्टिविटी जिसकी अच्छी होती है उसको उस उसकी जो प्रोग्रेस है बहुत फास्ट होती है मुझे एक याद आ रहा है कि जैसे अमेरिका के एक्स प्रेसिडेंट जॉन एफ कैनेडी का उनका एक कोट है उन्होंने कहा था अमेरिकन रोड्स आर गुड नॉट बिकॉज अमेरिका इज रिच बट अमेरिका इज रिच बिकॉज अमेरिकन रोड्स आर गुड We also got an insight on the eco-sensitive measures of the project from Sri Radhesha Mopalwar, Vice Chairman and Managing Director of the Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation. See, the most important thing is, uh, you know, it, when it comes to environment and uh, 
ecology, uh, forest, uh, trees. Uh, one thing we have uh, done that uh, we were told to uh, plant around a million uh, plants. What we are doing is we are actually planting 3.3 million saplings and uh, almost uh, various kinds. So we, we are in complete consultation with Bot Botanical Survey of India and in the uh, local forest department as well as the state forest department. And in consultation with that, we have taken the local uh, prajati, what they call it, local species, and uh, we have created a plan. It's, we are going to spend almost 900 crores on only environmental development of this road. Apart from uh, plantation, which is, as I said, 3.3 million saplings will be there, right from creepers, bamboos to uh, local varieties, uh, a three tier plantation, all these things will be there. But what is more important is basically for wildlife also. We are partnered with the Wildlife Institute of India at Dehradun. And whatever was suggested by the High Power Committee of the state as well as by the Wildlife Institute of India, we we have actually factored those uh, in both in the forest areas, in the uh, sanctuaries and non-focus areas also what they said focus areas for wildlife and non-focus areas for wildlife. We have now almost in 700 kilometers 76 wildlife underpasses and uh, eight overpasses uh, which are constructed for the first time of this kind. So we have been uh, very very particular that this uh, expressway must become extremely environment friendly. Shri Anil Kumar Gaikwar, Joint Managing Director at the Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation, shed some light on traffic surveillance measures and had a word of warning for anyone planning to speed. As a part of ITMS, there will be surveillance cameras along the expressway and our team will be monitoring that. High speed vehicles will be penalized. So, there is no obstruction on the entire 701 km stretch. Because there are two toll stations on the main carriage. One is at uh, Nagpur, Shumadka, and another uh, is at Thane. Mm. So, 700 km stretch is without any obstruction. Mm. So, there may be temptation for the drivers to drive at the fast speed. But due to all these uh, uh, surveillance uh, the, and all that on the expressway, nobody will drive at higher speeds. They will be caught and will be penalized. After a fun day out, I have to say that the Samrudhi Mahamad really is a road for all of us to be proud of. That it'll shrink distances and speed up movement is a given, but at a larger level it has the potential to fast track the development and prosperity of the regions it connects. It really has been an honour to drive on what can only be described as a world class road. <laughs>